everybody. Whoever has a complaint, go ahead. Ask for remarking. Uh, what Dida was talking about was to remark, to, to do remarking of everything. I think the best way, um, you know, sometimes as Kenyans, we are not very honest. We all know that some of these people have been getting those A grades. When they go to the university, they are not performing. Medical school will tell you that when they join around 80 students, whether whichever year, even I believe even this year, the students who finally go and finish the, the graduation class are not even half, it's maybe a quarter of the ones who started. Same to the law school, same to even education department. So, sorry, we have too many students who are not getting the right mark. Right. And me, what I, I can say and I can add here is, the issue is not about even cheating is there. We can never run away from it. People cheat. Cheating is there. It was there from the days of the Bible. There's no way you can say that somebody will not cheat. People <laughs> cheat. But now the only issue that we need to do, and I think what some of our legislators are now are grappling with, right. is that we want now to have university entry exams. Whereby, if you are chosen to join the architecture school at the Mount Kenya University or wherever, before you join, Mount Kenya University can set an exam. Uh, 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 one of my, I mean, I had a family member who was teaching at uh, Kabarak High School. After they have done their standard eight exam, a school like Kabarak High School also sets an interview for those who want to join Form 1 at Kabarak, at Sunshine, uh, you know, the, the, those, those, those schools. So why do they do that? Because they want to know if really this person got it what they really deserve. Mark. Yeah. And you know, the person who was family at, at Kabarak told me that most of the people who come, say, from the private schools with with 408, I mean 30, 420, the ones you see celebrating. Once they join the mainstream schools, now they start the normal exam. Again, they go down the ladder. So how do they get these 428 marks? But when they go to, to high school, they can't, they can't get anything near 16, anything near 70%. Reason? A lot of irregularities. The word is, I, I don't want to use the word cheating because sometimes it's, it's ambiguous. The word is irregularities happen. Okay. And uh, okay. looking, okay, fine, yes, can respond. My concern when, I'll take him back the issue that some students don't finish their courses at university and all that. Let us not just peg that to the exam results. I think we need to look at various factors. These are students who have been in a school. Their time has been controlled. They have been told to do this. And when you learn in university, you are a man of your own or a woman of your own. Nobody tells you your classes at this time wake up. So most of our children lose track. They only come to find out themselves that you, you're supposed to move at this. And then there are very many factors, change, changes in life, peer pressure, and all that. OK, I don't refuse. <coughs> okay, maybe there could have been irregularities in some, some of those exams right. whereby the courses they have been given, they are not there. The courses they would want and there is always room to change a course in the first year so there are many factors at play here but one thing i'm glad is we are moving away from this issue of exams and results and all this let us now go skills right and and just looking at uh, our history what would you say then is a general attitude towards examinations Yes, I, I like what Madame has said. Examinations have just been, um, it's like just, you know, you have to pass, you know, the pressure from parents, pressure from the school, right. mean score, they want everyone, they want, you know, they want to see that you have done well, you've passed, you know, your life is pegged on what you got, what you scored in study eight, what you scored in form four, you know, all, even in the university, you start hearing some people saying, I, I had one politician saying the other day that I got a, a, a first class, so and so got, a, I don't know, whichever class. So what I want to say is this, and I, that's why I agree with Madame, and I think that's what we need to be moving to right now, is that um, the CBC, the new, the new <laughs> curriculum, yeah, it's taking us away from that, from this exam condition, being conditioned to do exams being conditioned to be just exam oriented. And that's what I think I like in what she's saying that we should now be talking about skills, equipping our learners with the skills for life, life skills, you know, and equipping them with skills that can also put a bread on their table. 
many of the things, the logarithms we do and the, 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 the matrices and all those things that we learn, when we come out of school, we, 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 don't, we don't get anything out of it. So not very practical. Yeah, we, we are, in an exam condition, we are told to count how many legs has a fly or how many legs has a locust or something like that. It, it doesn't help us after we leave school. So it has reached a place now. We need to get a curriculum that is giving us the skills. What, it's not counting the legs of a cockroach. But how can we deal with a cockroach or how, what can we do with cockroaches either for, to benefit us or, you know, to eradicate them, you know, something skills. So I think that's where now we are going. And that's why, personally, I supported the, the, the new curriculum. I supported what the, the government was trying to do uh, in the education reform, whatever, working presidential working party. I supported that. The problem, again, is how we implement it again. Right. It, that's the problem. Now that's the conversation. Uh, and, and Salome, let me bring you in. Or you yeah. want to respond before we I wanted to on? say something. Eh? Okay. Exams have killed very many people. In fact, Kenya, where we are, the reading culture is dead. Because you're so much pushed to read for exams. And once you have, you threw the exams, you threw away those books and say to hell, right. I passed. <laughs> so it is wrong. Because we're supposed to read every day to keep ourselves abreast with the changes and all that. So exams have killed the reading culture in Kenya. And it's because parents seem to be the ones doing exams and not the students. Yeah. So it is like, get an A, get an A. An A for what? Maybe if I get, I get my D and go to that polytechnic and do what I love doing most. The most important thing for me is, who will I be in future? And how do I live? And that's why when they keep saying, they taught me how to get an A, but the A is not helping me get the money I need. Right. It's becoming the issue here. Mm. And so CBC, great. Right.